Hey everyone, how you doing? Cat Dad Things here, and I'm back again in Guild Wars 2, ready for some Mad King Labyrinth farm running. So if you are a newer player, you probably have heard whispers and buzz about the Mad King's Labyrinth and the farm that you can do here. Basically, just to give you the short version, you run around in a circle, you hit stuff, and you get loot drops. So these loot drops you can sell on the trading post and you can make some gold off of it. It's a very easy farm. Anyone can do it. You just run in there and start doing stuff. So what I'll do like normal is I'll just eat my trusty food, which lasts about a half hour. I will use that to increase my magic find because in this mode, magic find actually does matter. This number right here will actually increase your chances to find the loot. And it doesn't, it doesn't affect all loot, but this one it does. So I'll get 30% from this, 30% from this. And 100% from this, I do recommend a celebration booster if you happen to have it because this is a good time to use it. So I'll only do it for about a half hour about running around in the circuit. And once I do that, I'll tally up all the, the money that I make and we'll see if it's a viable farm. It more than likely is. And I'll just kind of show you how to do it. Also with some tips and tricks, things to keep in mind when you're doing this farm. Real quick, before we get started, hit your Y button, go to contacts and looking for a group. We'll take looking for a group here. And you go to central tier, you click that. Click Central Tier Squads and boom, look at all these farms going. It's nice because people are abuzz doing, during this. You can always find a farm. Like, it's not a solo farm. You do go with groups, but you will always find a farm. Nice quality of life improvement ANET gave us is now we can see that the Commander's Mad nice. is full. That used to not always be there. If you're new to this game, we used to not see that. You used to have to join the squad and find out if it's full or not. So now, like, this one's not full yet. Probably will be in a couple seconds, but... You can see here the commander's map is full. So basically you just join and start the farm. Please do, you know, if you can, show some etiquette because people will say what they want, what their group is doing. All doors, Steve on site. You'll find out who Steve is later. But you look at this one, only four doors, full tagging, no bosses, no Steve. So do be mindful of the group that you're joining and be respectful of the squad and the commander and just kind of follow along with what everyone's doing. If push comes to shove, you truly don't know what you're doing or have any idea what's going on. Just join yourself a squad here and follow them, do what they tell you, and all will be fine. Alrighty, so we're back in Lion's Arch. We did the thing for about a half hour. Only half hour, didn't go for a full hour. And the farm really is great the longer you go. So I saved all the stuff. Here is the stuffs. Again, for the sake of brevity, because I have to say it because people get crazy. We are not going to do sell orders. We are going to instantly sell. You will make more money from the sell order. Watch carefully. 66, 56, well, more money, serious. less money. But for the sake of the video, we're just going to outright sell everything. So whatever total I show you, technically, it will be more than that. So let's go through, let's sell everything, and then we'll rally up all the totals. I did empty out my, my trading post here. We're sitting at a zero balance. So let's just go ahead and sell it all, and then I will show you the results. And because these cannot be sold, we're just going to open these right now and sell these as well. And I'll add that to the total amount. Okay, so we sold everything, and I must say I'm quite impressed with the profit. Because remember, I only did this for half hey, of an hour, and I got 10 good. gold. Does that mean 20 gold an hour? I wouldn't say that. I'm not going to make that claim. Especially because it just depends on how fast your farm is working, if they're getting bosses or not. And you do get some daily rewards, as, as I had in my items, that they do give you a boost for that day. But it's a great farm. It's super chill. Anyone can do it. You can be a new player. You can just jump on in and get there. And also the squads that you see, like these people are machines. Some of them at least. Not all of them. But some of these peeps, they will just go, go, go. It feels like 24 hours a day. So if you can, you have the time for it. Do whatever you can just to boost up that magic find like I showed you here in the equipment tab. Do whatever you can to increase this number. Oh, my last boost wore off. Get it up as high as you can and go join the farm. So if you like this, please don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe to the video if you can as well. It helps out the channel greatly. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.